Oh, here we go. I don't know why that took so long. Hello. Um, thank you so much for joining us. We are so excited to be here today. We are um, with a few others now, which is very exciting. We are Green Juju. So my name is Billy. I am the Vice President of Nutrition and Communication for Green Juju. And this is the Kelly Marion from Seattle, Washington, who is the founder and head honcho at Green Juju. Um, the big boss lady, if you will, um, the very intimidating Kelly Marion um, yes. is here. I, I get better. My intro changes every time. I know. I get better with these intros every time. I'm very excited <laughs> about that. If I can if I can throw in uh, boss lady. I Something to embarrass good. me. Yes, exactly. Um, <laughs> it looks like people are starting to come in. Um, so we are so thankful that you guys want to come and join us and learn about um, we're already getting some comments about people being very excited um, and learn about our new products that we're coming out with. It's very much our pleasure to um, to be the the you know a point of emphasis on nutrition for your pets and for you guys to trust us um, with you know all of the amazing whole food toppers and and treats and things that we make. Hi to Samantha um, Youngblood at Youngbloods in Indiana. Um, so by the way, say hi, if you're here, um, any guesses also in the comments is very, um, exciting as well to, for us to see if, um, some of you guys are clued into what's going on here. So, um, so let's just go ahead and get started. So, um, wait, <laughs> oh, somebody posted in the comments because on airplane with no sound, that's hilarious. Well, that's Taylor. Dead. I'm glad you're on your plane because I know there were the there was a lot of issues today. So um, have a good flight. So thank you for joining us. Um, so let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing we're going to talk about is one of our existing products, which is one of my favorite products that we have, um, and that is and that is our bison liver trainers. This is a wonderful, wonderful single ingredient treat. Um, for those of you that know me, you know how much I love liver. Um, and Kelly, I think there was something you wanted to say about our bison liver treats, um, before, before we jump into some other things. Yeah. So we were talking earlier and I was telling Billy that the bison liver trainers have been around longer than Billy has been a part of green juju. Um, I really wanted to do these bison liver trainers because bison is one of the proteins that. Bambi, my current dog, and Bailey, my past dog, both did really well with. Um, and in my dog walking days, liver was a highly palatable treat. I could get dogs to do anything with liver. Um, and so bison liver was just a really appealing thing for uh, me to want to have as a product. And so I always viewed it as kind of a high value training treat. Um, but how long ago was it? Months? Year? Somewhere, somewhere. Uh, yeah, like probably like six months ago. So like six months ago, um, Billy's new to the world of French Bulldogs and learning that they are quite sensitive. And um, he was dealing with some issues with Huckleberry. And he told me that he started increasing the amount of bison liver that he was giving Huckleberry because the whole like feeds like concept of certain organs help support certain organs. So feeding liver will help support the liver. Um, and liver is where a lot of food sensitivities and toxins and stuff like that are processed. Um, so I just thought that was a really interesting way to look at this product because I had used it as a training treat before, but it actually does have a lot of, I mean, I knew it had a lot of nutri nutrition value, but to use it in that way to help support a dog through a, um, you know, in a time of distress and um, help support their health was something that I had not considered in that way. Yes, and the I feel like a lot of people consider the uh, like like helps like to be kind of like voodoo, but it's not. And the reason why is be <laughs> because the the it, the the easiest way to break that down is you know the bison's liver is made of the same stuff as your dog or cat's liver, and so it's going to feed those same nutrient profiles, you know, and it's going to be high. It's sort of like feeding heart is you know going to support the heart in terms of. CoQ10 and some of those other, you know, relevant uh, nutrient profiles. So we love single ingredient treats. We love treats that, um, 
uh, are wonderful for sensitive animals. We know there's a lot of animals out there that need, um, you know, a very limited ingredient profile. And so one of the main goals at Green Juju is to provide the healthiest versions of those very limited ingredient profiles. So um, I think for me, that's been very exciting and being able to, to do that. And I just love liver because liver is, is, you know, the most nutrient dense food on the planet. And so, especially when you get it from a wonderful source, whoop, Huckleberry's taking my headphones out. So um, a wonderful source, speak of the devil, like um, 100% grass fed bison, which um, in this case is amazing. So with this, with the bison liver trainers in mind, we are going to move on to the first new product, which is what I'm sure everyone is here for. Um, so the first new product that we have currently going is he picked a really good time to uh, try to bite my hands and play with me. So <laughs> um, is our new salmon trainers. So it's funny the camera difference there in terms of uh, just the, they're the same color, but the, the camera makes them totally uh, yeah. different there. So these, <laughs> these are uh, our new salmon trainers. So they are one ingredient, which is why yeah please do um because yours looks better uh these are one ingredient which is wild caught salmon so, um, so they're alaskan alaskan wild caught sockeye salmon which is um particularly special to me because this is this is from the same the same distribution company that our local organic co-op store is supplied with so this is literally the same stuff that we eat at home it's just the smaller bits that aren't cut into the three or four inch fillets. Am I frozen? Yes, but you're frozen showing the product. So that's relevant. That's good. Um, so hopefully, <laughs> um, so that's very, very important because this is, this is really um, the highest quality salmon on the market. And that's just kind of indicative of, you know, who we are and, and how we go about, um, there you go, <laughs> how we go about um, sourcing products. And so, um, just so you guys know out there, one of the things I like to do when I'm talking about, uh, feeding, you know, both my own dog and, and building diets and nutrition profiles for dogs and cats is building nutrient profiles through food. So these are a really great way to, way to, um, increase, let me pull up the thing here, increase, um, significantly the amount of omega threes that are getting into your dog or cat's diet. So, um, you want to have a good omega three to six ratio and each one of these treats on average is going to have about 15 milligrams of omega three, uh, per treat. Now you may be saying to yourself, um, but I had a supplement that has, you know, 1000 milligrams, but this for the first thing is this is actual whole food. And the second thing is usually you're not feeding just one of these a day. So let's say you feed four or five a day, you know, you're training your dog. I know for me, when Huckleberry comes in, uh, from going to the bathroom, uh, let you, you know, my little system, if he comes back in with me, just saying, Hey, let's go inside. He gets a treat. If he goes pee, he gets a treat. And if he goes poop, he gets a treat. So he gets up to three treats every time he comes in. Um, so, so, so there you go. That's 45 milligrams of omega three for Huckleberry right there. So, um, so again, just going back to the, the sourcing on this, this is the actual filet cut. So you can see, um, Kelly holding those up there that it is uh, a little bit different. So you're going to get different nutritional benefits from say our, um, salmon blue, um, which are also, which is also amazing quality. So these are for all of those, uh, sensitive animals that can definitely do salmon. Anything else you want to say about the, uh, salmon trainers? Uh, one question we already got, um, is the variation between the bright orange and sometimes batches that are more gray. And that's just the difference between how many, like big chunks of meat you have versus skin. Because when you have a piece of stamp, it when it goes to the tail, it gets thin, right? So you have a bigger ratio of skin to meat. Hang on. So you're 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 kind of cutting in and out. Oh, okay. Just back? Yeah, you could try it. Kristen know. says just one treat per outside time. Uh well, there you go. Well, one treat is great as well. I mean, I don't want to say that, you know, my dog's happier than yours, Kristen, but it seems to be that he might be. So, um, <laughs> just, 
Oh, I have to. So Kelly's going to be back in a second. Um, let me just uh, look at some of these. Uh, um, uh, Steph says we don't add fish oil in our blends, which uh, which is in a lot of blends. That is true. Um, hang on. We got to get you in here one second. There you go. Okay. Um, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay. So what I was saying is that we've already had comments about how some of these are bright orange and some of them are more on the orange gray side. And the reason is that when you look at this, some pieces are all salmon and some of them are salmon and skin. And sometimes there's more skin. Um, that's completely normal and natural. Um, the bright orange is the true wild caught Alaskan sockeye salmon. That's great. The skin also has benefits to it. Um, you get a lot of the oils there. So normal, natural var variation, no problem. Also, just on that note, food produced in small batches that is of, you know, utmost quality will also have variation just generally. So that's a good thing. Um, if your food or treats that you buy are 100% uniform every time, it usually means that they're putting something in the treat to get them that way. Um, and it makes them more highly processed. So you want there to be variation um, when it comes to those things. So that is a very good point. So now we're going to move on to the second new item, which I think people are going to be really, really excited about. Um, and I think there's going to be a lot of uh, the greatest part about this is we make this stuff for, you know, sensitive animals, but it's not just sensitive animals. It's all animals. Um, because I think we can all benefit from kind of paring down, you know, what we do nutritionally. And that that says a lot coming from me because, you know, that's, you know, all I think about on a daily basis. What's that? I said you're extra. <laughs> so but I, I think, you know, I think it's a good a good lesson in that. So um, you notice we started with the bison liver trainers and we we went to the salmon trainers. Now we're going to go to a third and new. Uh, you can pull that out there. Okay, Kelly. Think about this first. OK, yeah. OK, this is I mean, of all the things we released, this is something that I am probably most excited for. Um, I have had two super sensitive dogs. I can't tell you how many pet stores I've walked into and picked up something that I'm really excited about only to turn over the label and find out that there's some weird additive or ingredient in there that I know is going to throw my dog off. Um, so I always look for just the, you know, the most pure pared down sensitive dog friendly treats. And, um, this I think will reach a lot of dogs and cats that can't have a lot of other things. And so I'm super excited about this. And All right. So let's bring it. So, to go with our other trainers, we have rabbit trainers. Yay. Very, very exciting. So um, Kelly, let's talk a little bit about the sourcing on this rabbit and hold that up because again, your camera's way better. Not that I'm trying to block you or that anything. Hurts. I'm just saying. <laughs> um, you usually have the better camera. True. So these are humanely raised and um, humanely treated rabbit. They are French rabbit. A lot of the rabbit, especially in the pet food market, comes from China. Um, so French rabbit is a much preferable source. Um, and yeah, no antibiotics or added hormones. Um, it's just all the good, wholesome stuff that we want. And the only ingredient in here, it's backwards for you, but it's just rabbit. So Exactly. And um, rabbit, as a reminder, is a cooling protein. So we know there's a lot of uh, animals out there that deal in cooling proteins. I would say there are some, like my dog, uh, who deal in more warming proteins, like, for instance, the salmon. Um, but I think there's more out there that deal in the cooling side of things, at least in my experience. So this is a great way um, to add a cooling part. It's also lower in calories typically, um, because rabbit is lower in calories. So if you want to give a few more treats, I think that can be uh, an appropriate thing. This also includes, um, uh, bone as well. So this is essentially the whole rabbit. And so you're going to get, um, a good calcium to phosphorus, you know, ratio there. What I mean by that is when you add it into the, the actual diet, you won't, have to really worry about that aspect on there and you get and you get other benefits too 
from the bone itself. Because remember, when you're eating, you know, whole animals like that, you're talking about, you know, glucosamine, chondroitin, you know, all the mineral profile, all those things that are made up of um, those joints. So that's also, I think, very exciting in here. Um, so these texture wise, Kelly, do you want to talk about the texture difference in these two products here? Uh, they're completely different. Um, I mean, the salmon is, it has more of a flaky component to it. They're really easy to break apart. Um, these ones are going to be more along the lines of our whole food bites. I'd say they're in between, um, they're pretty similar to this. They're in between beef and salmon, I'd say. So they're firmer than the salmon, a little bit softer than the beef. Um, but they're really small, so you don't really need to break them apart. I'd say they're the perfect, like I have a 22 pound French bulldog, they're the perfect size for her. Um, if you did want to break them apart, you easily could. And these guys will um, break apart easily as well. Yes, exactly break. right. So so with that, you know, we all we always have different consistencies when it comes to um, all of our products in terms of um, that aspect of it. So. Um, I just want to show these. I think that's a good time to 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 end this, but I just want to show all three of these. So um, look for all of these at your local store. So we have <laughs> we're both trying to like make this work. <laughs> so we we have uh, rabbit, we have salmon, and we have bison liver now. Uh, sure. to simplify all of your treating and uh, training needs. So, uh, with that, if you have any other questions, we'd be happy to answer them. Feel free to reach out to us. Um, a good email for that is info at um, greenjuju.com uh, and or uh, hit us up on social media, whatever you want to do. Again, I always kind of say this, but it is very, very true. Thank you so much for trusting us with your pet's health. We genuinely appreciate it. We're a small um, but uh, very focused company. So thank you, guys. Um, thank you. We hope to see you soon. We hope you love these treats. Thank All you. Right. Have a good one. We'll see you soon.